While sitting at the docks, watching the ships pass by, you look over at Damien, who's also sitting beside you. He's been quiet most of the time, but that's pretty normal for him. His silence is broken with a small sigh. <sighs> Are we going to waste the entire day away like this? He looks at you as he speaks. We should get back to business. Could you just relax a bit? We've been talking about this magic stuff all day. It was 30 minutes, and you got distracted with ice cream. It was really good ice cream! It's Neapolitan, bro! <sighs> Marshy, I did offer you some. You can't get mad at me when you said no. Not the point, Marshy. Ugh, fine. Okay, look, I promised we'd figure the, this whole coming back to life thing, and I plan on keeping that promise. It's just gonna take a little time. Time being wasted with ice cream and staring at the ocean. <sighs> you frown at Davian's remark and he sighs. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just stating my opinion. We have no we have no idea what school of magic this power force even comes from. I never went to school to learn it. <sighs> Damien shoots a look at you, dumbfounded by what you said. What? <laughs> Gods, this is hopeless. Damien says as he gets up and begins to walk away. Wait, 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 wait! You jump up and run after him. You follow him through the market area, area of the docks, constantly trying to get his attention. He eventually pauses and turns to face you. Oh, now you care. I always care. <laughs> I always cared. I just... Really? He interrupts you. If you cared, you wouldn't be constantly wasting time with stupid things like bake sales. Oh, yeah. I'm stumped, okay? I don't know how to solve this, so I guess I'm buying time to figure it out. <sighs> Damien looks as if he wants to say something, but before he can, before he can, another voice speaks up nearby. Ah! Just the people I was looking for! You and Damien look over to see a vaguely familiar red redhead walking towards you. A large smile is plastered on her face as she bounces towards you carrying a stack of papers in her arms. A few loose papers fly out edge of her grasp and flutter to the floor. She glances down at them. Oh, oopsies! She reaches down to grab the ones that fell, only to drop a few others. One of the papers lands at your feet, and you look down at it. It's a brightly colored flyer that reads in large, bubbly font, Annalie and Altair's Oasis. Oh wait, Oasis? Shouldn't the O be capitalized instead of the A? The girl picks up the flyer from the ground and turns to face you. It's for alliteration! What? You're about to say something, but she continues. Anyway, I noticed you two seemed a little upset. We're fine, Damien says, glaring at her. Not with that attitude. She points a finger at him. But no worries, I have the solution to your problems. Doubtful. Damien is cut off when the girl shoved the flyer into his face. You are hereby invited to Annalay, that's me if you don't remember, and Altair's Oasis, a place of happiness and all your, and all your troubles will go away. <gasps> Ooh, sounds like fun. Not interested. Damien tries to hand the flyer back to Annalay, but... <laughs> Damien tries to hand the flyer back, but Annalay shoves it towards him. Keep it, you might change your mind later. She says with a smile. She looks between you and him. Well, I should get going. These flowers aren't going to pass out themselves. I hope to see you both again soon. See ya. Manila skips away, leaving you and Damien alone once again. You and Damien look at each other. We're not going. What? Yeah, we are totally going. It's a waste of time. It will be fun. You need a little bit of relaxation in your life. No, it won't. Give it a try at least! No. Please? No. Pretty please! Ugh. <laughs> Damien pauses, staring at your puppy eyes. He eventually gives in. The puppy eyes are too powerful for even him. Ugh, fine! Great, let's go! Let's go! Wait, I'm getting my ice cream. Give me that. Give me, give, give, no, give me the ice cream. Give me the- No, you, you stole it! No! Is this- wait. Oh, uh, yep, I think this is it. 
Oh, it's so cute. There's so many colors and little flowers and lights and little thing. What are those thingies? And isn't it? Where did you go? Isn't it so cute? It's great. I love it. You're also you are also going to love it. This will be good for you. You gotta relax, okay, buddy? Okay. What does this say? Oh, that's cute. There's a little sign pointing the way. Okay. A big mansion thingy. Oh, a little lap. I'm gonna climb the ladder. I'm gonna climb the ladder. I'm gonna climb the ladder. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. I I can't reach it. It's, it's like on the edge, and I can't grab it. Eh. Eh. Yes. Don't give me that look. <laughs> I'm being silly. See, you should try being silly. It's lots of fun. Fun times being silly. Okay. Okay. So, this way. Welcome! Yes. Are we the first ones here? Or are they all inside? They might all be inside. <laughs> Hello? Knock knock? Knock knock? Hello? Anybody here? Peekaboo? Remind me why I'm entertaining this again. Damien mutters as you approach the front door of a rather formidable building. You're fairly certain that this is the right place. You only checked the flyer about 15 different times, but maybe that wasn't enough. You glance back at Damien, who's a good few steps behind you already. You weren't walking too fast, were you? You pause in your tracks and wait for him to catch up, which he does with great reluctance. It's cause what, that's what good friends do to each for each other, right? Yeah, totally. <sighs> His glare and displeasure only intensify, but he says nothing more. With that handled, you turn back to the building and notice a light blue-haired dread standing by the front door. He's armed with a clipboard, and there's a large basket sitting be beside him. Ah, uh, hi! I assume this is the Oasis, right? <laughs> Uh, the dread eyes you with eyes you with a bothered stare and nods. Welcome to the oasis where everyone gets to be happy. Are you checking in? He asks, readying his pen. For a place where everyone is supposed to be happy, this guy doesn't seem very well happy. You guess that's you guess that maybe he expresses it differently than most. He might just have a lot of inner happiness that he chooses not to show. In fact, he kind of reminds you a bit of Damien. Maybe they'd get along. Uh, yep, we're checking in! Great. Names? I'm Marshy, and this is my friend Damien. He's a little grumpy, but he's nice in his own way. You and Damien share a glance, more like a glare in his case. The dread takes a moment to write on his clipboard. We've got anything... Got anything dangerous with you, or that could be used to hurt someone? At your side, Damien tenses. Um, I got this boomerang. Does it count? I mean, I did beat up a giant bee with it. Well, actually, it was a wasp. I did beat up a creature with it. Oh, I beat up more creatures with it too. There was a time in the mines. Yeah, it, I I used it a lot. Oh, I also beat it up. Beat up a cow with it. I beat up a lot of things with this boomerang. No humans though. That's good. I haven't beat up a person with it, so I must- Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Sure, it counts. Hand it over. <laughs> the dread state stands string to the basket. And if you're worried, then don't be. I'm noting down what you've got, and it will be returned after your stay. We'll keep it safe. He assures. Although his bored tone state stales- Stales the message somewhat. You deposit your boomerang in the basket, mindful of the other weapons it holds. The dread eyes, Damien. And you? Any weapons? You should probably hand over your wand. I don't have any weapons, Damien says quickly, interrupting you. You don't have a wand? The bluette draws, unimpressed. Nope. Damien answers near instantly. The dread grins, smiffed. Yeah, I ain't buying that. Either you fork over your wand or you leave, no exceptions. Damien glares. Fine by me. What? You can't back out now! 
<laughs> Damien glances at you. I can and and if he still wants my wand, I can and I will if he still wants my wand. You're not getting the. No, why did I read that in the marshy voice? <laughs> You're not getting in unless you hand it over, the dread re reiterates unfazed. Then I am, Damien states gruffly. You blink at him, flag flabbergasted. He's really just going to leave? Damien turns on his heel and starts the back starts back the way you came. Ugh, the audacity of this guy! He can't just agree to something and then bail on you. What? You, you coward! Damien stops, head in his, stops dead in his tracks. Did you just call me, me a coward? He grinds out. He hasn't, he hasn't even turned to face you, and you can still feel the heat of his glare. Oh yeah, only cowards back out on their word. Oh my gosh. You, Damien, and the front door guy just stand in silence for a good few seconds. You focus on the you focus the most determined look you can uh, to muster on the, the, the. you focus the most determined look you can muster on Damien's back as if it'll help your chances of turning him around and changing his mind. You're almost afraid to blink because he takes the opportunity to, in case he takes the opportunity to slip away. Finally, Damien turns turns and storms back over i'm not a coward he grits out as he angrily pulls out the wand and deposits it in, deposits it in the basket the blue-haired dread looks about as unhappy as damien's decision as damien probably is but dutifully but dutifully notes down the weapon all the same <sighs> all right head on in don't go past the foyer until instructed feel free to chat make friends and all that he instructs, gesturing towards the doors. Well, that certainly was a hiccup, but hey, you're here now, and the rest of it is all bound, bound to go swimmingly. Thanks a bunch! Let's go! Oh! More friends are showing up. That's good. I still have my ice cream! <laughs> Let's go! I snuck in free food! Do you think they care? They don't care. They're fine. Hello? It's fine. Hello? I see, I see a pink Hi! Ow. <laughs> loud. Oh, hi. Well, fancy meeting you here, stranger. What? Oh, yeah. Fancy meeting you here, stranger. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, we've met once. So at this point, <laughs> we are kind of... <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I wasn't actually expecting... It was kind of a long walk to the middle of, like, nowhere, so I guess I wasn't really expecting to see a familiar face, or... Did you was, also get a flyer, that... I assume? Yeah, um, Remy actually got a flyer from his campus. He said someone was, like, handing them out, and it was a, 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 a oasis, <laughs> a, a thing. Oasis, but the A is capitalized for alliteration, yeah. apparently? alliteration, I think. I don't think that's um, how alliteration works, but, you know, it's fine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure alliteration needs to start off with the letter. Um, but anyway, I mean, I mean, kind of cute place. There's so lots far. of pretty it's, lights. It's, I mean, yeah, it's like in the middle of nowhere. The scenery is actually pretty good. I saw a lot of flowers. On the it's here, like a actually. summer camp. Yeah, um, it's like a little lodge, but with no snow. <laughs> oh, but gosh. yeah, like a summer camp, like a summer camp. Yeah, that what? <laughs> I haven't been to summer camp. I, I haven't think. been to one in a while. It's been a few years. It's been so cool for me. Look at this. Look, look at all these little, like little banners. That's a and house. Of, that's a that's a house and that's an heroin house. Oh my god. <laughs> that's that's, that's just so silly. That's, that's straight up a replica of heroin. <laughs> Is there little it's dolls just... inside of it? Maybe. Let me check. I don't think there is. Oh, maybe the dolls, we have to find the dolls. Maybe there's a scavenger hunt for the dolls. I don't know what kind of activities we're going to have. There's a- there's a- A what? Maybe I need oh to take this Oh my gosh! I, there's I a little a, pig! I need- I need to take this place more seriously. <laughs> oh my god. I'm good. Got a hairball? Okay. What? Okay. No. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Someone, someone. Um, wait, no. We we're this. We're we're part of the same group. Your voice, like you know, little voices and stuff like that. Um, one of them was like, "Please ask her if her tail is soft," and I was just like, "It's no. very soft." Do you want to pet it? <laughs> Am I allowed? Yeah, pet it. It's fluffy. Oh my god. <laughs> That it is. It's very what fluffy. Are... Huh? What are you? I'm what an animan, a fox. Oh, okay. I didn't know foxes had that fluffy of fur. I I'm a special fluffy fox. Yeah, oh, I shouldn't I mean, step on their tables. I got excited. Not. I mean, you're you are a pink fox, so I kind of. So we're not I allowed to they're... leave this room. But what if I want to look around? Can I take a peek? I think you can take a peek in here. This is a kitchen? Will they get mad if I steal their garlic bread? It looks really yummy. They, I mean, they did say to relax. Is this garlic bread? What, what is it? That's cinnamon toast! What? Cinnamon toast? I'm gonna take one. Oh, I wanted one. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Have I seen Arctic foxes? I, I mean, I've seen Arctic fox foxes. I don't live in an area. I live in, like, a city. I live in, like, a what big this? city. With, like, a bunch of stuff. Hot dish I casserole? Oh, yeah. But wait, I probably... No, no, no. Hmm. They're, they'll be Christmas. fine if we just take a couple snacks, right? <laughs> Is that a grilled cheese? That. That's what I thought. Per like persimmon. Per per persimmon, persimmon and jelly sandwich. Persimmon. Wow. Damien, you didn't run away, did you? Okay, you're just chilling. Good. You're not That's allowed what to his run name away. Was. That's what his name was. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. Um, in guy case you guys Amir don't remember, uh, this is Dan, this is Damien. You guys know each other now. Congrats. You're friends. Yes. He's not much of a talker. He's in a bad mood. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I brought him here because I hope that bring this place is advertised to make people happy. So you know, bad mood got to be fixed. So that was my thought very process. True. Yeah. No. Com yeah. I guess I would just. I mean, Remy doesn't get out. I, I also don't really get out. But um, I guess I I was just kind of here for a bit of like relaxation time. I've been kind of stressed out recently. More so. I'm kind of here because he wouldn't have gone if I didn't force him. But that's okay. I'm here for vibes. <laughs> for vibes? <laughs> for vibes. I'm surprised my ice cream hasn't melted. No, you can't have my ice cream. You you said no. You 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 said no to having ice cream. You don't get any. That's your fault. You can't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the ice cream? I have a date. A date? What? Nope, nope, no, 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 give that back, give that okay, back. Okay, okay. <laughs> Slipped out of my hands. No. Dates. I did what? Why do you have dates? Because of because of Amir's thing. Oh, right. Wait, you still have dates from that? Yeah, why not? I don't have anything left over. I ate it all. You ate it all? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no forage, no, like, keeping... I, I was really excited, on. okay? They had everything tasted good. <gasps> what is a this? Pumpkin. A pumpkin! Did the plants eat it? I mean, the um, Black Lotus did eat some chocolate recently and it what? tried a pumpkin but we then we the flowers then, yeah. eating chocolate yeah it it it's flower it, it flower yeah no it eats chocolate that's crazy yeah i have so much food now <laughs> that you've stolen <laughs> i did not steal people? it it was sitting out on the table from obviously meant for us to take with their really light and like silly colors and a pig in a tree and all that fun stuff what other silly things can i find what other silly things what are these little sticks well 
I see someone oh, no, coming they in. They smell kind of nice. They kind of smell nice. They do a little bit. There's a lot of them. There's like at least four in this room. That's crazy. I don't know. I, I mean, I have like incense in the real world that I burn. So it's probably I've never burned an incense. It, it's just like a really fun smell stick. Like, you know? Fun it's a really, smell stick. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely smelling stick that burns slowly. Wonderful. Yeah, so it's like that. Um, so I'm assuming that's what this is. I mean, it looks like an incense tray. I want this little pig. Do you think he has a name? I want to name him Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy the pig. Hello, Jimmy. Schwan Schwarbors. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> There's, they're talking to the blue-haired dude. The blue-haired dude? Swan? What? Well, I, I see a swan outside talking to that, that the guy who was at the door. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Probably. Please really give us give us anything dangerous. What are yeah, your things with that I, dude? I mean, even if we had, I guess, what? Do they not want people... Fighting ever? If we, st I don't think yeah, any of us are gonna start a fight in here. A don't start a fight, okay? I. Yeah, this, this is silly. This is really silly. I didn't even have anything that like really. I had like my broken sword, and then I had. I had a boomerang, and then I started talking about how I beat up Jeez. random animals with it, and they were like, <laughs> put it in the box, and I was like, okay. Why, why, why? why? Well, okay, in my defense, the animals were kind of crazy. First was a giant cow trying to kill us. Second was, like, a bunch of, like, creatures in the mines, and one of them was, like, gi a giant firebird or something. And then there was also a giant bee. That was fun. A giant bee. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh my god. I, I, I didn't do it. How do I keep you? Hello? Hi. Dion, Marcy! Hi. Yeah, no. I saw, yeah, same reaction. Saw a little bit of pink and went, whoa. Yeah, that, that's pretty Marcy, ain't it? I don't I'm, know if I've ever met anyone as pink as you. I'm very pink. You are. Yeah, I've never met anyone as blue as you. Oh, <gasps> wow. Wait. Not even this couch? The couch uh, yeah, is a person, couch. what am I saying? The, the couch is pretty blue. Yeah, the blue, it, it is, might but, be blue. But, but it isn't actually. a person, which is the difference. <laughs> Um, it could have been a person. It could have been. What do you mean it could have been a person? You don't know what happened to this person. couch. What if it was cursed to become that couch? Oh no. Maybe That's a did. thing? Back yeah. in the day. Oh my, please tell me you cannot curse people to become couches. I, I, do I need to worry? Do I have something else to worry about? I really don't want to have to worry about that. Uh, I just, you know, no, I'm here to have a good Swan. time. I'm here to have a good yeah. time. Swan. Yeah. It's, yeah. A silly, it's a silly place. You think someone got turned into a couch i mean i don't i don't know what's all possible so i maybe i don't know either but i'm pretty sure the couch is is, is here good. let me I ask think them hey couch I couch th couch i think it's i think if i kick it couch. enough it's made of wool are you and stuff. are you a person oh okay you well what, what if it can't tell you because they're oh, a couch now are. they don't have it's, a it's mouth saying its name is harold what it's he had a family why is, and kids why is it speaking oh, to God. you <laughs> Why is the couch speaking to you? <laughs> you know, I was also into like the silly, but now, dear God, <laughs> you all fall into a com um, companionable silence while, while, after a while, waiting for the main event to start. Fortunately, you're not left waiting long. A loud squeal from the back of the foyer draws your attention. Of the red-headed dread enters. Hello, everybody. She shouts, skipping into the room. A far less energetic dread trails after her, but it's difficult to pay him any mind with the energetic woman at the forefront. I might be familiar to some of you, or all of you, but hi! My name's Annalie, and this is my brother Altair. Welcome to our oasis! About that. Why'd you spell it oasis? Why'd you spell oasis wrong? Someone from your right loudly interjects, holding up the Oasis flyer. Altair's tw eye twitches. I'm sure it sounds better than Annalee and Altair's Asylum, he draws. The flyer is lo lowered, and there's a stretch of awkward silence. 
I um I see why you went with Oasis. Exactly. See, we wanted the name to sound warm and friendly, but alliteration just wasn't on our side. Annalise says, looking a little saddened. But I think it all worked out wonderfully in the end. Wouldn't you say, Altair? She cheers, turning to her brother. Sure did. Altair grumbles. Annalise beams, spinning back around. So let's get to the reason you're all here. You guys want to discover what it means to be happy, don't you? It's hard to prioritize happiness in this stressful life, isn't it? Bills, jobs, responsibilities, of it, all of it always there pulling your attention from and time until you've got nothing left for yourself. It shouldn't be like that at all, should it, should it Altair? No, Altair replies, almost robotically. Which is why we made Oasis. To help guide you on your journey to finding what happiness means to you if you're stressed anxious depressed or suffering in any suffering any malady to happiness you're in the right place she finishes triumphantly hands in the air after a moment altair begins to clap and those outside her group begin to follow suit uh, i guess clap dan you just go with the flow and offer up a disciplined slow clap for the hell of it the noise emitting the does no favors for Remy, but he nervously joins in because everyone else is clapping and he'd rather not be the only one not clapping. Marshy, you offer an enthusiastic clap to the applause, but you can't seem to convince Damien to join in. He simply glowers more every time you try, until you decide to try and clap even louder to make up for his absence. Swan, you awkwardly join in, trying to feel the energy everyone else seems to have, but you're unable to escape your nerves. Catherine claps politely, but Marianne seems to think it isn't worth the effort. Annalee appears positively enthused by the applause, literally bouncing with joy until the applause naturally tapers out. I hope y'all made some lifelong friends here. She tearfully exclaims. Now let's get this thing started before I cry. Altair, take it away. Altair looks as if he'd rather do anything other than take it away, but steps up nevertheless. Get on in. And make yourselves comfortable. We got some icebreakers planned so you, you all can get to know each other or something. He gestured to the set of doors he and Annalee had entered through, and soon people were filing in. You best hurry, unless you want don't want to be left behind. All right, let's go. Okay, um, this way, in here. This way. So how did you all, you know, learn about this place? Annalee. Oh, I see. Uh, you know, you know Annalee. Yeah, we saved her from a bee. That's the that's the bee story. Oh, that's why you were talking about a bee. Oh, that yeah, some, was the bee story. That 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 blue haired guy just came up. <coughs> Attention, everyone! Can we form a nice big circle? Annalie requests. It takes a few moments for the crowd to start moving, and a few moments longer for the questionable shape to resemble a circle. But you all manage. Much appreciated. Now, to start off our exciting journey of happiness and self-discovery, we're going to introduce ourselves. She explains, standing at the center of the circle. Does anyone want to start us off? She looks around the circle, eagerly awaiting a volunteer, but no one speaks up. Undeterred, Annalee presses on. That's fine. It can be scary talking in front of a bunch of people, so why don't I go first? She ends up squeezing into the circle next to Swan, and everyone ships over to give her room to stand. Okay, let's do it like this. When it's your turn, tell us your name and a fun fact about yourself. I'll start, and then we'll go around and, until everyone's done. She looks at Swan and smiles. So you'll be next, okay? Uh, sure thing! <laughs> why, why am I next? <laughs> Annalee claps her hands together and turns back to the circle. Hi! My name is Annalee, and I'm a twin. She cheers and then looks expectantly at Swan. Uh, okay, greetings! I'm, um, Swan, and I, so, fun fact! Uh, can we just come back to me? Are you sure? Just give yourself a moment. Yeah, I, I know you'll be able to think of something. Annalee says. Well, uh... I like to read, sometimes. That's awesome! 
Anale exclaims, and Swan manages a shaky smile, uncertain how to respond. Okay, let's keep it going. Catherine steps forward, smiling, smiling politely. I hope this is a pleasant experience for us all. My name is Catherine, and, well, I'm rather good at budgeting. I've been told that I can be quite the menace at sales. She steps back. Marianne follows Catherine's example and steps forward. <gasps> I'm Marianne. Hey, my name. I, I voiced her. I, voice her. <laughs> want, I forgot what voice I gave her. <laughs> I'm kind of dead. Hey, Annoyed. my name is Marianne, and I work for the most annoying man in Erwin. She steps back, and he whisper about her, questioning if that even counts, but Annalie makes no move to redirect the extra stuff, so it continues down the circle. Marshy ha happens to be next. Ah, uh, uh, hi, I'm Marshy, and, um, uh, yeah, I like the color pink. There are murmurs of agreement amongst the circle, but a few pink haters also make themselves known in the muttering. Marshy, you look left at Damien, who's next, and give him an encouraging smile. Damien doesn't step forward, but after a few painful moments of silence, sighs and clears his throat. Damien. I'm, oh, sorry. I know I was, you can take it. <laughs> da Damien. I'm a thumb, a thaumaturgist. Thaumaturgist. Th thaumaturgist. I'll just restart that line. <laughs> Damien doesn't step forward, but after a few painful moments of silence, sighs and clears his throat. Damien. I'm a thaumaturgist. He says with no small level of displeasure. Dan's up. My name's Dan, and I spend most of my time in the library. Remy looks at his shoes. Remy looks at his shoes as if they're the most interesting things in the world, nervously rubbing at his arm. Uh, hi, I'm Remy. He he manages, swallowing thickly. I attend the university. Sorry, if that wasn't a fun fact. I don't know what else to say. Hello. So I'm Janet, and I like love puppies. And it squeals. Oh, it's special, especially the little baby ones. They're just so small and cute. What's there not to love? Cameron here. Gotta say, I'm a bona fide cheese lover. Gouda, mozzarella, gruyere. I love them all. Cameron claims, looking skyward, as if he were per per uh, prophesizing. And Ale claps, looking pleased. Good job, everyone. She hums before taking notice of Altair, who is purposely positioned outside of the circle. There, just one last person who needs to introduce themselves. Altair glares. They already know my name. Yeah, but they don't know anything about you. She reasons. That's fine. He huffs. Come on, pretty please. She tries. Altair looks away, but she persists. Pretty please with a cherry on top and marshmallows and sprinkles and... Fine, fine, I'll introduce myself. Altair grumbles. You already know my name. It's Altair. I'm from... Eros. He looks at Anale. You happy? Yes! She explains, looking, in fact, very happy. Altair sighs. Anale turns back to adjust the circle. All right, that's the end of our first icebreaker. That wasn't too bad, was it? There are mixed responses from the circle. Okay, I think it's time for a little break. Annalise decides. You have full roam of the facilities. Well, for the most part, anyways. Feel free to pick out your rooms. You don't want to be doing that last minute. I'll let you know once it's time for more games. The circle begins to disperse. Exploration time. Exploration. I didn't. I mean, uh, why cool. did I have to go second? Because <laughs> you were sitting next to Anale. But I wasn't when the circle formed. She moved there. Well. Stuff that I can. What is? Yeah. Is that a closet? Are, 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 oh, are it's, we, it's a closet. Are, are, yeah, is it's that just okay? a closet. Oh, I, I I guess I said we could explore. They didn't exactly say anything yeah, was off limits, but what if things are off limits and we don't know it? Well, we'll find out the hard way. Then even more fun. It was not fun though. <laughs> so what? Ooh. <gasps> nice big. There's nice big room. 
I like oh, this room. Oh, there are paintings. Okay, this, this looks. This place looks really comfy. At least I mean, I could run in circles in this room. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. Speed, are you, are I guess. you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. <clears throat> anyway, mm. I think she has has a few hairballs. Do you lick your tail? I do it? not. I'm sorry. That seems like a that seems like an inappropriate question, but I'm very curious. No, that's weird. <gasps> Well, I mean, I mean you're like a, you're like a, you're like a, you're like a, you said you were like a fox thing. A fox you're thing? Like, yeah. Animals. Dude, I've, I've, I've seen very scientific they're not fox. animals. I've seen a pink, like a pink thought. I'm messing up my words. A pink <laughs> fox. Why is my head getting fuzzy all of a sudden? Sorry. Um, pink fox. There you go. God. Pink foxes are cool and unique and awesome. I've never seen one in real life. Well, now you have. Congratulations. I also, this health. isn't real life. This is, this is whatever this is. I don't know. I've died enough to feel like it's real life. Uh, fair enough. There's a door up here. Is this oh, there's real a door? life? Wait, is where does this it go? This is fantasy. Up. Oh, wait. I shouldn't shut that door. Why should, why did I shut it? I mean, I you know, doors are meant to be shut. So maybe that's why I yeah. shut it. Blue. I wonder how it looks outside. <gasps> okay, guys. Um, I I know they said claiming rooms. I genuinely do not know what rooms they're talking about, but this is mine now. It's blue. It, 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 there's no bed in here. This is gonna sleep out. on the couch. I you yeah sure jammed. I'll sleep on a. The this is jammed. so blue. This yeah, speaks so to me. Weirdly jammed. There's like a fruit cake and nothing and nothing and nothing and Honestly, wow. I guys, do you, this do you, is do you, a think, do you think I can place. get up there? I'm get up where? Try to get up there. Okay, maybe I shouldn't, but like, hold on. I wanna... What? What? Huh? I'm climbing! Wait, huh? <laughs> Can I get Hi. up there? That was <laughs> so hard. Well, okay, look. <laughs> climbing on furniture is an adventure. It is a task. It's okay. You're, hold on. You're that just short. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay, mister. Okay, if you wanna take it there. <laughs> I am appropriately sized. There, there is quite a few. Like, what is this? What is what? Is that jelly? It looks. I, I saw something. Like are they like sprinkles? Like Count the sprinkles. No, no I don't think that. I think that's like. I think that's is it a like candle oil or something. I think it's an oil. Oh, that's a. It's essential oil. Wait, I've oh. seen someone sell these before at the market. Wait, does it have docks. a smell? Lavender. Oh, it's kind of nice, actually. Which is actually oh, quite nice. I like that. Or, or it could just be the flower that I'm holding. <laughs> oh, you know that too. You know, that's possible. That's possible. Uh, I guess Swan's sleeping on the couch and I'll just take mm -hmm, the upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's upstairs? That probably probably has a giant bed in there. Wait, but then where's Marshy going? Uh, Marshy, are we having a sleepover? Marshy can sleep on the floor. I will go well, in here. Oh, this no. one's mine. No. <gasps> Wait, but it's a blue pen! No! <laughs> I was too icy! Mar I, too fast. First. I, I, have to I have to respect the dibs first. Yeah, we have to respect the dibs. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ooh, like, are, are there good This is stuff? a nice room. It's nice and big. Um, how to breathe 101. What? Ooh, but that could be useful. And then there's I mean, poetry not from the heart. Okay. Are okay, they, but is how poetry to from the heart probably just isn't a bunch of breathing good. exercises? I, I, I'm thinking um, that's what it might be, you know? Let me, let me pick it up and... Give it a good look-see. Step one, inhale. Step two, exhale. Step three, inhale. Step two. Return to step two. What? <laughs> what? Hmm. Repeat process for rest of life. Now you're breathing manually. Like, no! Uh, you did not do that to me. You did not. I can't believe you do this to me. You subjected me to this whole horror. What? Why? Oh. Is there anything yeah. I can steal here? Is there something that I can do? Ooh. Okay, yeah, but like, what, what, what would you, what would you, what would you want to take? You're a guard. You should not be. Um... Probably not. <laughs> you're. I've been going to it's you for like, fighting lessons because you're a guard. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Being like, yes, please steal. Well, I mean, it, it's not like it's not it's not like it's not like Mary Ann's here, or Catherine. I mean, they probably have a problem with that. Should I have a problem with that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Did I? 
Eh, it's probably fine. You know, I tried to climb some more to the bookshelves. It kind of just, it did not work. It, it didn't, it, I was a little sad, actually. Like, I, I got a little bit, but like, I couldn't, I couldn't get over. It was like, I was a little sad. You I've know? never, <laughs> why are you climbing on bookshelves? It's fun. Have you never just like climbed stuff before climbing? Honestly, it no, it just doesn't nice seem like a you thing to do. <laughs> me thing to do. Miss, I'm I'm concerned about saying the wrong thing. I'd like to read. Gets embarrassed. What? You have. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Swan. We all go through our time. <laughs> we all go through our awkward moments. Well, yes. Like climbing bookshelves. Wait, that's not awkward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be. It's awkward I mean, when someone asks I guess you what you're doing. You don't know how to explain yourself. Oh, they oh yeah, that's where the awkward part comes in. That's where the awkward part comes in. Um, I don't, I don't see any of the incense sticks, but I can still smell it. Like, man, there was, like, yeah. The... Honestly, I, this whole place smells like honestly really, really nice. It's like really. No, nice, there's one yeah. of the thingies. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It doesn't have a stick. Yeah, that's that's why I'm like I, I saw that and I was just like, remnants. there's not another. Hmm. Remnants. Remnants. It's really strong. <laughs> remnants. Remnants. <laughs> remnants. What? I wonder if there are such things as spider swans. Wow. Spider what? Spider swans, because you know, see, I was climbing, and you know, the voices they were they were like, well, okay, chat, whatever. You know, I don't think you're Spider Man, just... but I could be. I could try. I guess if you wanted to, you just gotta be bit by a radioactive spider. That you may also have to lose. Oh wait, a no! One. What are you gonna be in? Who's group? ready for some games? Come down to the green room quickly. Oh, games! Yay. Ooh, more games! More games! More games! Okay.